A sad picture of Jeff Weiss is emerging tonight. When he killed himself after yesterday's rampage, he seemed to be in the midst of depression and despair. Nothing like the happy little boy his aunt remembers. His best friend says he was obsessed with music called Horrorcore. His favorite musician, Mars, and a song called Go Suicidal. sold in many stores, but its dark, disturbing lyrics are striking a chord with Minnesota teenagers. Tonight, Darcy Pollan digs deep into the world of horror core. A warning, some of the music and some of the images are offensive. We'll talk about a lot of crazy stuff that offends a lot of people. A song about fantasizing murder or um, the death of somebody, yeah, I, I consider that Horrorcore. I have no responsibility for my lyrics. It's just fun. It's fun and games. It's horrorcore. Fun and games or disturbing and dangerous? I think it's uh, garbage in, garbage out. And I um, would be very concerned if my teenager was listening to it. Horrorcore music, a type of underground rap which centers on violence and death. The first rap I ever wrote was about suicide. Mars is a successful horrorcore artist from the Bay Area of California. My music is basically a cross between a horror movie and gangster rap. You take Stephen King or Wes Craven and you throw them on a rap beat, that's who I am. A lot of kids who don't, I would say, who don't have a lot of friends or are misunderstood. Kids like Jeffrey Weiss, the Red Lake Reservation shooter. Some who knew him say Mars and Jimmy Don were among Weiss's favorites. They were just saying that this kid was a fan of my music and he had my CD, The Darker Side, and he listened to um, the song Game Over and the letter a lot, and he mentioned it as one of his favorite songs. I wonder what I did to deserve this rejection. Game Over is a song about a school shooting. I think I started writing that when I was about 14. Today I go to school for the last time in my life. I hold them tight to the pistol that I have to my side. I can't wait to see the faces as they stare down the barrel. I was sitting in class, and I was looking at certain kids that I couldn't stand that were making every day really hard, like a personal hell for me. And I would fantasize about what it'd be like if I came in with a gun, which kids I would let live and which kids I would kill. That was years before Columbine or Red Lake. After the Minnesota school shooting, Jimmy Don got threatening emails from loved ones of the shooter and his victims. One of them said that, that he should have killed me for making the music that I do. Um, another one said that I should be disgusted with myself for fueling children to do this. Both rappers say their music doesn't cause violence. I'm hearing whispers in the dark. Listen to the demons. I'm a preacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm definitely not a role model. I don't encourage anybody to hurt themselves or anybody else. But those who work with troubled teens say tunes like these can cause even more discord in children already on the edge. When I see adolescents, particularly those that are depressed, um, that are suicidal, homicidal, um, music like that <clears throat> reinforces their thinking, reinforces their distortion that whatever they are thinking is normal. Even so, musicians and counselors agree the ultimate responsibility for preventing young people from destructive behavior lies with responsible adults. I feel no responsibility. I think it's the responsibility of the community. I'm not advocating that we suppress freedom of speech. What I am advocating is that parents need to be involved. Really far. But I mean, you said that's what the genre is all about. But what happens when someone takes it seriously and murders in the name of horrorcore? Well, I mean, it, it's happened a bunch of times. And not only just horrorcore music, but in rock and roll and 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 everything, you know, it can't just be horrorcore music, it, it happens to video games, but just because our genre is such an extreme genre of music, we talk about all the taboo subjects, we really push the envelope, we're really extreme with our lyrics, we try to shock you, that's the biggest thing, is shocking you, and when something like this happens, it's, 
gets, gets more attention because, like, well, he just said that because he was talking about murder in this song or suicide in this song or, or shooting up this and that in this song. And it's, it just boils down to, again, it's just entertainment and these kids, you know, maybe something growing up wasn't just right and they, they take this form of entertainment and it becomes fantasy for them as as an outlet you know what i mean instead of killing themselves they listen to a song about killing themselves and and it may get them through the day you know what i mean but in other cases you never know i guess apparently he took it the other route and when people take it that other route i mean at what point do you accept any responsibility for lyrics that might have encouraged murder? 